In the previous video, we have prepared our data structure scripts. Now, I am pretty sure that implementing dry code isn't very exciting, so let's create a simple visualization for our grid so we know that we have created something. First thing we need to do is to create a new 3D object of type quad. So let's see it. Okay, let's open the scene view. Great. It's, it, here it is. What we need to do now is to create a new folder called materials. Let's open it up. Let's create a new material. Here it is. Let's call it green. And we are going to set the albedo to some form of green to have a grass material. So our quad will represent our ground. So let's now go to our quad, drag our green here. So the quad is green. Basically, let's call it our uh, maybe ground. And let's create another folder. Let's call it prefabs. Okay, and let's drag our ground to our prefabs. Great. Now you might uh, see that this uh, quad is only has normals on one side, so it is invisible from the other side. Now we will want to be able to look at the, the map from the top perspective. So what we need to do now is to set our quad to rotate it on X axis. So when instantiating, we will want to rotate our quad by 90 degrees on x axis okay let's delete the ground now what we will need to do is to create a grid visualizer class so let's go to scripts let's create a new c sharp script let's call it grid visualizer okay let's open it up in the code editor okay here we will want to again delete everything from this class and we are going to create a public game object ground prefab. Okay. And one method called public void visualize grid. Okay. And here we are going to pass int width and int length. Wait. And what we are going to have here is a vector3 position equals new vector3 with divided by 2f, 0 and length divided by 2f. Okay, great. Next, we are going to create a rotation for our prefab. The quaternion rotation equals quaternion Euler and 90 0, 0 to rotate our quad uh, to face the y axis going uh, up, upwards so we will see the color from the above and the next bar board equals instantiate our prefab so ground prefab and we are going to give it the position of ours, the rotation. We are going to scale this uh, this one quad. So board transform local scale equals new vector three, and we are going to place it uh, at width and length and one. Uh, sorry, we are going to scale it on. X and on Y because we have rotated it so it's not no longer Z it's Y direction for our local uh, scale okay great now let's go back to unity okay and what we will create is new game object called grid and let's drag to it our onto it our grid visualizer and let's choose our prefab ground and let's place it here great and let's open our map generator script. So edit script. Okay, great. So here we will want to pass to it our parameters for our grid. So, so for our map basically. So our grid visualizer, uh, public grid visualizer, grid visualizer. Uh, this will visualize our grid. Next, 
what we need to pass here is our public int width and length and let's set it for now to 11 and let's set a range on it and we will want to have it about uh, between two uh, three and 20 for example uh, no less than three because then we do not have a map uh, and top uh, limit can be as you see fit but for now let's leave it at 20. great and let's expose the our grid as a public variable so uh, as a private variable so private map grid called grid and let's create the grid in our start method and for now let's set it to width and length great we are not going to print the coordinates for our grid but what we are going to do is called grid visualizer dot visualize grid and we are going to pass it width and length let's save it let's go back to unity okay and we need to make sure that our map generator has grid visualizer so drag a grid onto our uh, map generator grid visualizer and make sure that width is set to 11 as well so let's now save it press play and we can see that we have our map uh, created and it is indeed in a uh, correct position and it indeed has 11 squares if we want to count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 great what else can we do is stop the game choose main camera game object align to view align with view, and we can now see the same view on the game in the game window as we see in the scene great so now we can visualize our grid even it is even if it is a little bit of a visualization and now in the next video we will start creating candidate map class that will be responsible for placing obstacles on our map.